All right, let me let me address this question real quick. Ella, my name is Ella. B culture. Yeah. Is Studio One Six worth the upgrade? The answer to that is, if you have to ask that, then the answer is probably no. Now, if I can explain that and maybe soften it up a little bit and just kind of give you some things, I'm going to point out some things for you to think about. So, Studio One Six or anything of that matter, it's only worth the upgrade or worth the effort to move forward with anything in life when the value is there when you can see value in something then it's worth that extra step forward or backwards depending on what you discover now here's what I encourage you guys to do because I I find this question to be quite often and I don't know if it's a I don't know why. Why is that even a question? So, so when I am interest, interested in something, or wondering if I should move forward or move, you know, you know, stay the same or move beyond what I currently have, I always do research, and of course, I do. You know, I may reach out like you guys doing to certain people just to get their their thoughts, their thought process or whatever. But um, I have several videos of me making beats and mixes and just doing things here and there. And I even have like these little blog talks, if you will, podcast style talks about things I'm frustrated with and things I like about Studio One things I feel like need to be updated or just, you know, because I'm a user, I dig a little bit deep and I talk to you guys from a transparent place in my heart and I let it out to you guys and I get interaction from you guys. And it's, it's a good conversation, ongoing conversation that we have about what's really going on with student one. So I encourage you guys just to, you know, subscribe to the channel, look up some of those videos and there's a search function on the on this channel. I don't know if y'all knew that, but when you go to the to the YouTube page, there is a search. I'm not talking about the overall general search at the top where you can discover anybody video. I mean, on this channel per se, like you have to go on the YouTube page. You probably can't do it on the phone. You have to be on the computer. So if you're on a computer, you'll see like there is another search function down at the bottom alongside where it says videos, live, shorts, community, and then there's like a search button. It's actually searching the page, it's searching the channel, and you can just type in Studio One or Studio One Six. I cover many videos in this stuff, and then you can just take a look to see my workflow and how I like it. For the most part, I like it. I love it. I like what's going on in Six. We're at 6.5.1 currently so by the time you're looking at this video we could probably be in 6.6 or 6.7 or i don't know 7.0 i don't whatever but you have to look at the features the feature set is these features something that you need that you feel like can enhance your workflow we've got an updated video track It's a real video track now. It's not just a player inside here. It's a real live where, you know, highlights the the thumbnails. You can actually see it, you know, along the timeline or whatever. I still think there needs to be more, you know, scrubbing will work. We love scrubbing, scrubbing the video for that purpose alone. But, you know, we got this thing called Adobe Atmos, now where we can do surround sound i mean that might interest you you know i know for me when i was doing projects like that i had to go to logic a lot because logic and logic been doing that so now i don't have to do that i can just do what i do in studio one you know what i'm saying stuff like that 
I love how Studio One routes contact because contact players is one of those instruments I use quite often. So in order to route everything and have everything at its own MIDI lane and then have the audio routed out, like it's super easy to do that in Studio One, which is one of the reasons why I'm in here. There are some other things that happen in here, you know, with the dynamic EQ, there is update that happened over time. Now we have that. We got a real DSA finally, right? That's in here. Um, some other things I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you have to, you know, we got chorus and we got d delay and we have an updated reverb as a result of the surround sound, right? Now it's, it's kind of cool, it's, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's it's unique how they how they put that together. But, I mean, you have to just look at it, you know, for me per se. Things that already been in here, like we have the arranger page where you make the beat or make your mixes or whatever, and then you got a mastering page, like that's separate. So you can have several songs in here, like 10 songs, and have them all put into a mastering page where all of those songs, all 10 of them are in this mastering, getting ready to go and be bounced as one instant, meaning like there's one overall mastering plugin or mastering effects, you know, effect chain that affects all of the songs and could, so it can have that cohesive sound, you know, for that particular album. The art, the artwork that comes along with it, the metadata and whatnot, you know, that type of thing. Being inside of like steel within Studio One, you don't have to go anywhere. Everything is here. It's how I've been releasing my projects where I'll just wait till I get a certain amount of songs that I'm ready to release and I'll just have them all lined up in the mastering page. If I need to make a change, I can go back to that project, make a change, and then the mastering page talks to the Studio One side. You know what I mean? Like, say, hey, you know, it's like a little indication that it's, it's really cool. Like the inter integration between what's going on in Studio One and all of the things that, but that's, that's old stuff. But I guess I'm talking about why I like Studio One. But I mean, there were some updates that happened over time. The lyrics track. You can add lyrics to your beats and have lyrics like you could type the lyrics in and find where you are and stuff like that. So if you're an engineer, you know, uh, a recording engineer and, and you guys are writing lyrics in the project, well, when they say go back to can I see you, just type it in and then just put you right there instead of fumbling around. Oh, by the way, there's a this track called Range. It's a range track up here. You just label that and or Marcus, you easily know where you are, but specific words because you're writing lyrics in the project now. See, that's that might be ground banging, uh, breaking to you. I don't know. That's just, you know, one of those things that's does that tickle your fancy? Do, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that does that motivate you? Is that something you look forward to? And, and or it may not be something that's worth it. Like, I don't want to leave it track. What is this? So there you have it. You can stay wherever you are. That's, that's totally up to you. By now, there's several videos from several people who's saying what they feel and like how they like using Studio One or how they don't like using Studio One. You could take all of that and make your your judgment based on those things that you found. Make notes and then you can do do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But if you have to ask again, if you have to ask the question if it's worth it, then like m maybe you in your mind you thought it was cool. You know, you know what? I like what I'm hearing, kinda. But I want to know like confirmation from people. 
is it worth it? I'm just keeping it transparent with you guys. Like, I'm not going to say yes, and then you buy it, and then it's like, you feel like it's not worth it. But I feel like that's what you want me to tell you. Yeah, man, it's worth it. Like, an excuse to spend money. <laughs> that's sometimes I be thinking, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you anything, guys, that's, that's going to, like, because, I know for me, man, I, I like people to keep it transparent, 100 with me, like, if it ain't worth it, then it ain't worth it. If it's worth it, it's worth it. Like, but again, that's that's research that you have to do. You you have to you have to come to the conclusion that it's worth it to you or not. Because what's worth it to me may be different from you. You know what I'm saying? But the part about me being transparent and Wanting the facts, you know, just let me know, blah, blah, blah. That's my job. That's what I do here on this channel. Like I, which is why some of my videos don't be glorifying Studio One. Like it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, I love it, but there are some things that I would love that can change or improve that they're taking their time with. I'm just saying. I mean, I get it. I might be one of those unknowing people like, man, gosh, we got so many other things that's more important than what you're asking for. Like, give us a break. I mean, I, I, I like to think that I'm speaking for the music production side or point of view of things. For us people that love to work in Studio One, like, I like to think I speak for a lot of us. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, hey, man, we just keep it 100 here. But uh, I hope that this video helps you guys make a decision. I can't say yes or no because that's a decision that only you can decide, not me. I can tell you what's going on in here. I can tell you how things work and, you know, how well I can put put a beat together but that's about it I can't tell you to go and buy six because or if you if you if you paying for this subscription the plus they call it the plus now like it's not sphere anymore it's the studio one plus I believe if you're paying for that then you automatically have access to this stuff for free you, you're you paying for it in, in your subscription. So, I mean, but I, I know there's, there's a lot of people who pay for the perpetual license, like how things used to be where you just pay $500 up front and you own it. And then every time they come out with an update, it's like 150 or something like that. But um, I hope this video was helpful. I'm Ella, Lifestyle Governor by Art.